So you're basically the shadowy advisor behind the, the throne. Uh, you get to pick which claimant you think is going to be uh, the best candidate to put on the throne. So these shows you the different starting setups that they have, so different sets of spies and soldiers. So these are the spy units, these are the soldier units. This uh, Lord Sumney here, these are all like randomly <laughs> generated characters, so the art and the names and everything, all of our maps are randomly generated as well. Um, this is a pretty good starting one. So this gives you like an extra trained up spy, so the spy rank makes a difference. Uh, but it's less soldiers, but that's a pretty balanced start, I reckon. Yeah, so um, that especially given how close proximity everyone is. This is an interesting map because everyone's like started right in the middle. One of the things that's, yeah, so hit start. One of the things that's really interesting about this game is that like, because every map's different, like the skill really comes in like figuring out what's going to be important in each map. Um, to win the game, you're going to try and get five castles. Uh, and these are your action points that you use to put in your orders. Uh, so we're looking around these golden things here. These are unclaimed castles that nobody has yet. Uh, this is a neutral faction, so they're just going to sit there. They're not going to like fight us or anything. We can choose to attack them if we want, or we can choose to send spies to influence them. Uh, and this is going to be where the opponent starts. So if you select this starting region here, um, uh oh, yeah, yeah. So now just click in there, yeah. Uh, so that's that's our soldiers. These are our spy units. This shows what regions we can move to around. I would say yeah, pretty yeah, good yeah. starting out the gate. You want to go and get some castles and some farmland. So probably grabbing your soldiers and marching them out in that direction will be good. So if you select the soldier unit up here, and then probably march into this little forest. And then you want to use your spies to go and get you some more action. So these cities here can be claimed by the spies. And so you want to probably head out in that direction. Uh, and you've got one last action left. So yeah, that probably makes sense. And then once you put in your orders, you hit uh, commit orders here. Yeah. It's simultaneous uh, turn, so if you're playing against a human opponent, they will have been putting in their orders at the same time, which means that an online game can play along pretty pretty quickly. Uh, we also have an asynchronous mode, so it'll send you like an email if your turn's ready, kind of thing. Oh, if that's you want, cool. yeah. So it's like <laughs> Steam notifications and things. Yeah. So it's nice, and it's kind of then you kind of you get the game started, but then once you get invested and both people online, it just starts to like ramp yeah. up, and you're like, no, I need to know what happens now. So we can see uh, here they're moving out uh, in this direction. I would say we definitely want to get these action points. So probably moving, continuing to move your spies into, you can get two cities in one go here, yeah. And then you can move the other one into the other side. And um, yeah, maybe, yeah, get the farmland. So farmland is like supply. So this is the little turnips you have here. Uh, that's how many soldiers you can have in one region. So at the moment you could only have one soldier in a region. If you had another one, they would start to be starving. Yeah. But if you can grab that turnip farmland there, that'll really give you a, allow you to build up bigger armies. The way the combat works is it's just strength in numbers. It's like the soldiers just work through. Uh, whoever has the most soldiers in a region will win the battle. Um, and if it's a tie, then this, it'll go to whoever has the highest ranked spy in the region. So the spies, can, they don't start fights but they will uh, influence the battle if it's, if it's like on a knife's edge. Okay, so we can see they've also gone and taken some spies here. Um, so they've also gone and got actions, but we've got uh, two more cities here now, which means you've got twice, nearly twice as many action points. And so this, if you select a city, you can choose to train this spy and increase its rank, or you can recruit another, another one. But probably training is a good call at this point. So spies can only see uh, sp spies of a lower rank than them. So you're never quite sure if you've got the biggest spy around. Um, I would say maybe grab this castle is probably a good way to go. Just because you want to get... Yeah. Yeah. The mouse on this computer is a little sensitive. Uh, and you've got two actions here left. You could maybe actually muster. If you select here and select the castle, so they could muster another soldier there. Given that they're marching in our direction, that might oh, nice. be a good idea. So that's it? All my actions? Yep. So that's all your actions there. Um, and then commit orders, yeah. And now we've taken the Trenmouth Castle. Oh, okay. They're, so they're probably coming in for that farmland now that we've got it, I think. So we'll want to look into defending that if we can. So good thing we mustered some extra soldiers. I would say if you send a yeah, soldier in from each region, actually you can just send one soldier in. Because we control that region, um, if you want to defend it, you could just march one soldier in there and could, if they move one in, it'll be a tie. Yeah. Um, and unless they've moved a spy in, so they might move a spy in is the tricky thing. 
this attack you're doing here, you'll actually lose that because they control that region. Oh. So you might want to um, cancel that order. You can cancel orders actually up here as a little shorthand if you just mouse over. So I think that mountain one is that soldier, yeah. And if you click that, yeah, yeah. Um, so you want to bring in a spy. If you had a spy to move in there with that, you could definitely do it. But I think moving down there, we can try influencing this neutral faction too. So that's probably pretty good. Um, and yeah, maybe bring this one back in in case this ends up in a bit of a tussle here. Yeah. And he's still got two, so maybe just muster more soldiers. Take advantage of it. Yeah, yeah so you're out of actions at this point. Okay, we can see, so this, because we've got this higher ranked spy here, we can actually see their spy coming up. If we didn't have a two ranked spy, that would have been invisible to us. So we can see that they're coming, sneaking up there to try and get that city office, I think. Did our mustering, so you're in a pretty good position here. Uh, you might want to move back in there. They're probably going to that one. So if we move in there, and then we can ambush them and do a little assassination. I can show you how that works. Yeah start to lock it down so that's good so we've defended that there which is good if you want to I can show you the influence action so if you move the that spy yeah in there um, I'll show you how that works one next more. turn so yeah one action left you could train up another spy or you can actually bank it for next turn um, which will save it as like half half a point towards next turn. So okay. if you save up two in a time, so I'll it try kind that. of yeah. yeah, it's kind of good to have half a one in the in your back pocket because then you, if you need it, you can kind of yeah. like sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're on the move. I don't know where they're going. <laughs> we scared them off. We've got new AI at the moment, and it's definitely a lot more nimble than it used to be. I used to be able to predict what it was doing, and now I'm like, oh, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> mm. So you could chase after it, yeah. try and hunt it down. It might be going here to try and like get ready to do an attack. Who knows? Um, Oh, and so the influence action, if you select this guy up here and then go influence, so you can influence them. It'll cost two actions, but basically the first round of influence will make them a trade alliance, which means it'll connect your supply. So how the supply works is like any region that's connected to the farm. So if that was happened to be on the other side, so that can be helpful. Um, and then if you do it again, the second time you do it will be a sworn alliance. And that means that that actually will count towards one of your castles. Nice. Um, you can never move their units and you can't move your soldiers in there. They're like sort of diplomatically uh, not cool to go yeah. and invade their own castle. But it does, it is a kind of one way that you can get a, like a little spy can influence the victory track. Yeah. So is there anything oh. I can do with this soldier or is it just better uh, so to leave him there? I would, it's pretty good to leave him there. Um, you could also potentially, is it connected to this farm region? Uh, if you select the soldier, it'll show us where it can move. No, I, I think probably leaving it there is not a bad plan. Yeah. Because if you leave it too empty, yeah. the way the mustering works is that it happens after combat, so you can never like raise troops in order to defend that combat. Uh, so it's like it's always good to be one turn ahead of a potential attack. Okay, so now we know what that spy was up to. Okay, well this will get a bit tense. I'm glad we brought that biggest spy down. So what this spy was doing is that uh, an empty castle, a spy can't control a castle, but they can convince it to go back to being neutral. Um, oh, so here's our influence action. So we've persuaded the neutral faction to form a trade alliance with us. Uh, so that's like step one. And basically, the thing with the alliances is that you can't... Um, another spy could always come back and take it back the other way if it's a higher ranked spy. So it's sort of a bit tenuous, but it's certainly a good start. Okay, so I think what this spy was doing here when it moved in was trying to turn, neutralize that castle back to being neutral. So it's a good thing that you moved that soldier in. But yeah, chase him down. And then do the, I would do the influence again. Uh, so if you select the spy. Yeah. Um, 
So this means they're starving, so that's what that little purple flag means. Ah, uh, they have no food. Okay. Yeah, so they haven't got enough supply. So I reckon supply. that's all I can probably do for now. Probably yeah, probably so just, you could, I would muster again. Oh, probably, I have a yeah, castle here, yeah. Yeah, you've got a castle there, you could muster in. And then, yeah, save that one. Okay, so they've spread that out because they were starving, they've moved one out. Ah, here we go. So this is going to be a combat. So they've moved their spy in and their soldier in, which will show us our first combat. So this is going to pull in. So because we both have equal combat strength, it brings in the spy oh, okay. as the tiebreaker. So that's the one thing where spies become very critical in battles, even though they can't start combats. And often that's the bit, like, because we don't have, we have deterministic combat, there's no dice rolls or anything, but the spies are sort of the unknown element where you're never quite sure if you're going to win. Um, so that's tricky. So they've taken our, <laughs> taken our farms there, which is a challenge. Um, cool. So, but the good thing is, is we've got this influence now. So, let me click through this here. Is, this is great. <laughs> so now we've got them as a sworn ally. So we've got this little castle here. We only need one more castle and we'll be in the wind running. The other thing that's happened is we've got these modifiers from our alliance. So, uh, in open plains regions, so these kind of empty regions, we'll get uh, a bonus in combat strength and then we'll get a penalty as well somewhere. Uh, oh, okay, so this is... <laughs> uh, sometimes, because we haven't put in exclusion pairs yet, sometimes the modifiers cancel each other out. <laughs> so, you know, they're like, we're easily surrounded, but also love being out in the open. Yeah. Uh, so basically that's, that's cancelling out in this case, but often they'll end up being sort of a, like a late game thing where it kind of changes up how, how things go. Um, but you can, you've got one castle down here, if you move in and take that, you're actually on the, on the edge of winning, I think, which is good. Uh, however, we have to be a little bit careful what yeah. this guy's up to. So at the moment, I think that's fine, but they might try and do an open castle gates at some point. But you're probably fine. You've got enough spy dominance around. I think you can probably adapt to. So yeah, you could move in there, and then if they come for that castle, it's probably good. That's all and, I can do. I've got some and then, yeah. So you can't do anything with those troops because they. Oh, sorry. That's that's your ones. Yeah. You could muster again in here potentially. All yeah, I, I think do. that's all you can do, yeah. And then once you take once you get the five castles, you basically have to hold it for two turns, which is like gives them a chance, like means that even if you kind of go up against the ropes, it's like, oh there's a chance to try and like turn the tide. Um, which in the multiplayer games especially can can actually mean that you know you can pull back from the edge of uh, a loss pretty nicely. Okay. They're out of there. I think oh okay. They're still making some moves. I'm not quite sure what they're up to here. Okay, so we're two turns away from victory. That's good. Now we just need to hold it, hold down the fort. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, get you hungry. Yeah, I think move that one. Probably try and take that farm back, I think. And maybe move your spy with it. Ah, so you can't move two into that region because you don't have enough supply at this point. Oh, so they'll okay. still starve if they move two in there. So you only can move one. But you could move the spy to back them up. Uh, might be the way to go. Because spies don't care about supply because they're just like, you know, they'll just have a little snack on the go. Uh, you can leave one in there if you want because it's only, you can still support one. Um, are my spy in there already? Uh, so I think you want to select your spy here. Oh, it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yep, that looks pretty good. Let's see what happens. The AI used to be like, I was like, yeah, you know, once you, you can kind of like predict what it's going to do, but now I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes it pulls out moves on the last turn that I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? Right, it's thinking about it. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it might take a minute. Two hours later. When it gets in the late game, it definitely starts to crunch a bunch of numbers. I think it's like, I am curious to see if this comes good. <laughs> but anyway, you're basically on the winning turn, so I think it's going to just deny you your victory. Well, that's a, 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 a somewhat unsatisfying end to that round. Um, it's alright. Yeah, the new AI. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like basically the AI is like, I'm AI's sulking. Like, nah, no, what about I've had the, enough. Yeah. <laughs>